Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Wish. We're going to talk about Wish flopping this weekend harder than people thought it was going to. It came. Mm -hmm. It did come in number three, behind Napoleon and behind The Hunger Games. Yeah, which is pretty bad. I mean, that's bad for Thanksgiving weekend. <laughs> it wasn't as bad as the Marvels. <laughs> Not as bad as the Marvels. But we're going to talk about that, and then we're going to talk about how uh, K Kotaku, Kotaku is is angry that it can break Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom um, Hearts people are rabid about it. They are Kingdom Hearts. That that is a, a very special fandom. And uh, look, you know, we we love Kingdom Hearts. We do uh, very much. But um, I, I have to admit, this is one of those things where, as much as I like those games, they're kind of forever ruined for me because some parts of the fandom are just absolutely bonkers. Mm -hmm. And uh, every time I think about those games, I think about those fans, and I'm like, yeah, eh. I don't really need to play this, <laughs> you know. I, I skipped the third one, so let's uh, let's talk about this anyway. Before you get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Yeah, woohoo if you do. Woohoo! So let's um let's talk about Wish at the box office. We did a video a couple of days ago where we speculated, at, you know, per um, box office pro or whatever, that Wish was going to come in third place. People said, no, that's impossible. It's going to be easily, easily in number one. No, <laughs> no, it is not. Third well, they were place. They expecting it to be like, what, 55 to 50 to 60 million yes. domestic. And it came in like 49 million global. Yeah. Yeah. That's not good. It's not good. So this is coming from Variety. Disney needs to find another star to wish upon. Wish the student... <laughs> Wish the studio's newest animated feature was projected to land on top of the box office charts over the Thanksgiving holiday. Instead, ticket sales fell short of expectations with the week 19.5 million over the traditional weekend and 31.7 over five days. The film tumbled to third place behind the Hunger Games prequel and Napoleon. That's horrible. That is like so far with Disney this year, with the exception of Guardians of the Galaxy, all of their movies have massively, massively underperformed. Oh, well, that 31.7 million, too. One, that's just domestic. But two, I, they have to have had those early showings rolled into this total. I think they did. Because I don't see a separate yeah. number for that. So remember, they released it on the 22nd officially, but they started early releasing it on the 18th in select theaters and select audiences. So they had four days of previews. Ahead of the day of preview, so five total. And you don't see a separate total for that, which means tells me they're probably rolling it into this to hide it. Yeah. Um, they said it's not as bad as Strange World, but it's not great. No, they, Strange World was really bad. And and this is kind of what they were hoping uh was gonna turn it around for Disney animation. They said uh, Wish was projected to earn 35 million. No. Wish was projected to earn 50 to 60 million. They said it was projected to earn 35 million over the traditional weekend, 45 to 50 in the first five days of release. That that was adjusted down. Originally, they were like, oh, it's going to easily be 55, 60 million. Easy. It's a Disney movie. It's Thanksgiving weekend. It's a traditional princess type thing. No, yeah. It's cookie cutter princess type cookie thing. Cookie cutter princess. But she's not a princess. She's, you know, I can't, I can't say because it will ruin for those who didn't see, but you know. Anyway, uh, Strange World, yeah, did 12 million over the weekend and 18 million through five days. They did say that uh, it was 49 million globally. That's bad. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's like that's that really yeah, bad. Again, global guys, global. The film's anemic initial turnout further illuminates that magic has been in short supply at Disney. Are we allowed to say that? Aren't you a Nazi if you say that? Well, you used to be. You get yourself off a media list. You can't go to the cupcake parties if you say bad things. They now said, everybody's saying it. Everybody's saying it. South Park is my, it's safe to say it because it's we so. We made it safe. We made it safe. Obvious. It's so obvious at this point that Disney is broken. Most of the studio's 2023 slate, excluding Guardians 3, has dramatically underperformed. Yeah. This is a $200 million movie, just like Lightyear was a $200 million movie. And that failed, but not as bad as this one. I mean, it's pretty bad when Lightyear did better than a princess movie released you know, during the Thanksgiving holiday. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and freaking Napoleon made more money and people didn't think it was going to do that well either. So this is, uh, I don't know, guys, Disney's like totally broken. Like they're, well, they're, they're broke. 
they are broke and broken. And now they got to cough up money for Comcast and mm-hmm. everything else. Oh, yeah. They, they, I, we didn't even bring that up on this. Speaking of coughing up money, they're doing a special for between by tomorrow, 99 cents a month for Hulu with ads. The, with the ads is relevant. Um, I, and for a year. And then the one with the Disney Plus and Hulu with ads is $2.99 a month for 12 months. And you could be a returning subscriber as long as you weren't subscribed in the last month. So you can't cancel and then renew right. up for the cheaper rate. But that's how desperate they are to get these numbers up. But then the flip side is they will make more money if you're on the ad supported tier than they would if you'd paid for the ad free. Yeah. So, but I mean, they're just, they're just doing it because everybody wants everybody. And I can tell you with Wish and stuff, it's trending that everybody wants to know when is Wish going to be on Disney Plus. Uh, yeah, because that's what people are trained. They're trained. To anyway, do. you said about the prices and that made me think of that. But yeah, yeah, that's um, what they're doing. They're doing it because they're trying to get everybody onto the ad supported tiers. Other places are doing it, too, because they make more money that way. They have more subscribers to pitch to advertisers. The more they have, the higher rates they can charge. And they make more per, per P cap per person by doing it that way than they do, you know, just a regular subscription. Anyway, so sorry. I well related but related. I think they're looking. I think they're looking for some good news for investors because investors are going to look at their box office and be like, "What the hell?" And then they're going to be like, "Stock staying at ninety five. It's not dropping. I don't get it, but I it's don't not. Get it. They just had two bombs back to back. But amazingly enough, their stock's still staying up there, which I just that's okay. People are done with Disney. They're done well, with they're Disney. Not with the stocks. Uh, you know, I think they're hoping that if there's enough pressure put on them, they'll be able to turn it around. Well, right? they can't, they, it's going to take too long to turn around. It's not like they can snap their fingers. They can't make a wish and have it like, woohoo, birdie, bobbity, boo. It's all fixed. You can't do that. Bippity, bobbity, boo. See what I did there? Um, See there what I go. did? Okay. Anyway. But midnight, the stock drops again. You know. Yeah. Midnight, the stock drops. Uh, okay. That was funny. Uh, after hours trading. So this is coming from Kotaku <laughs> and they're pointing this out. And we might've mentioned it offhandedly in the video, but it's going to break kingdom hearts. Right. And it's going to break people's minds because uh, for those of you who don't know, there are spoilers. So I'm going to give you a warning. There's spoilers. Uh, yeah. The ending of wish basically connects multiple Disney movies, mm-hmm. even though it doesn't make any damn sense, but they already had kind of the, Square Enix uh, Disney universe thing going and and how all those worlds were interconnected. Now they're just like, yeah, we're just going to throw all that out. We're going to do our own, our own uh, uh, princess multiverse or something, you know, story here. Just make a Kingdom Hearts movie. It would have been, <laughs> it would have been a lot better, right? I don't know. They need something. They need to something like a TV show or movie just to explain the damn storyline because it's so convoluted at this point. I don't even understand what the hell's going on. Yeah, so just just to tell you again, we gave you a spoiler warning. So if you're still watching the videos, you're on damn fault. Uh, the end of Wish basically has uh, Asha, is it Asha, the, the main character. Asha, yeah. Asha, How do you say her name? I don't know. Uh, princess gal here becomes the fairy godmother. Uh, the talking goat found Zootopia. The bad guy becomes the magic mirror. And there's something with Peter Pan. Um, yeah, I don't know about Peter Pan. Yeah, I, I didn't watch it. Wants, I don't. Do I really care? No. So it basically, like, kind of implies that all of the other Disney fairy tales came out of this movie. Well, yeah, because they said this was the hundredth anniversary film, and they were trying to tie it all to their, you know, when you wish upon a star, they were trying to tie it all to their wishing star. That's what they were trying to do. So they're trying to tie everything together because you know Disney keeps trying to do that shit. Yeah, you know, ah, that doesn't work. That doesn't that doesn't work for me. The only time these characters should should exist outside of Kingdom Hearts, which is a video game, but the only time they should coexist is in like the House of Mouse, where it's kind of done for laughs. Yeah, and it was not like yeah, canon. People are like, well, this isn't canon. This isn't canon. I'm like, well, Disney said it was. They're like, it's an offshoot. But Disney said this was their hundredth anniversary. You know, the the origin of the Wishing Star movies. So that implies that. You know, it, yeah. was, it was supposed to be. So, yeah, they said that uh, how it's going to break uh, break Kingdom Hearts canon is it's going to require a lot of retconning because they already kind of had a story for like how all these worlds were connected and then they all split. They said it's unclear if they're going to have to deal with this anytime soon because Kingdom Hearts 4 is probably years off, but it's been in development concurrently alongside wish well that would suck because they've been de- de- developing this for a while and they're probably like got told we're changing everything wish and they're probably like, well shit 
You know, <laughs> now we have to do everything. So that was going to take longer for Kingdom Hearts because we have to undo it all, redo it all to fit with Disney's wish. Yeah, so we don't know what Disney Worlds will appear in the next game. We can reasonably assume Disney and Square have had conversations about it because Wish was in production. And that was kind of like, you know, they had, uh, I was surprised they had Big Hero 6 and Kingdom Hearts 3 as, as quickly as they did. But that's because they're probably working with them like, hey, we're working on this other movie. Could you throw it into the game? Um, Kingdom Hearts has plenty of prequels and midquels. Between it's, it's, Kingdom Hearts it's is, confusing. It's like you need a roadmap to understand what the hell's going on. I don't even understand it. And I'm a Kingdom Hearts fan. And I, I, I'm i like very confused by it all. Oh, they had the one uh, voice actor did the summary of Kingdom Hearts. It was fantastic. And it was about like Goofy dying and Mickey's trying to explain Kingdom Hearts and he doesn't understand it. He's like something, something in the heartless. And I don't know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> it started out really clear. And then they started out these other, the, the DS games and all this other stuff. And I'm just like, I am completely lost now. Yeah. So look, they said that, you know, this is going to be, it's going to be easier for square to just ignore wish. I have to wonder if, if because this movie did so badly at the box office, and it's very unpopular with a lot of people that they're trying to connect the Disney movies the way they are, especially given the fact that now all of a sudden the fairy godmother is like race swap, which makes yeah, no... Yeah, people like, explain that one. Explain that Apparently one. Apparently when you get older, your skin gets lighter like your hair. Well, Michael Jackson, it did happen. Um, but you know what I'm saying? It's like, it, it was, people are just like, yeah, this makes no damn sense whatsoever on any level. And... Um, they might just ignore it. I wonder if this is going to be one of those things is like, we don't talk about, we don't talk about Bruno and we don't talk about <laughs> wish about Bruno. Oh, you know, damn well. Encanto is going to be in there. Oh, Encanto will be in there. Cause it made money. Basically whatever recent movies they had out. I bet strange world will not be in there. strange world will not be in it. Uh, the year probably won't be in it. No, they'll do toy story again. Toy Story Definitely. Cause they're well frozen. Well, because they're doing a frozen, you know, three and four. Yeah. They haven't even have three out and they're already talking about four and Toy Story 5. So those will be in it for sure. Yeah. So it's just like, I, I think they're going to leave out. Like, I don't think they're going to have a home on the range, uh, you know, Kingdom Hearts world because it was a failure. The Brother Bear. That would be really Brother sad. Be oh, my God. Brother Bear. Brother Bear heartbreaking. Oh, my God. And then, um, oh, Sora gets to be, yeah, it gets to be the, the bear that takes over. He gets to be Brother Bear in this one or something. They all turn into bears and it's bear on bear action. No, that's Baldur's Gate. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so they're like, this is going to break Kingdom Hearts. I'm like, I don't think you have to worry about it. I really don't think you have to worry about it. I think they're just going to ignore it. I think they're going to be like, yep, this movie did not make money. If it was popular. Um, yeah, they said here. Two <laughs> comments. The easiest method is just ignore it. I think everybody is just going to ignore it. They're all stepping over it. That's the point. Yeah. Yeah. So good luck with that. I mean, that's pretty bad. Our 100th anniversary celebration movie winds up being a massive failure at the box office. And uh, it's, it's, it's so confusing that they're even like, yeah, let's just leave it out of video games. That doesn't even make it. Well, gets me is it's so people, people don't like it in general so much. And they're so, they're not backing it. So you're not getting the, you hate women and, and you're racist argument. Like you did with little mermaid and stuff Yeah, because people are just, there's not enough give a shit to even warrant telling people they're bad people for not going to see it. I don't think I haven't seen that. Yeah, I actually, honestly, God have not seen that argument. I'm sure there are some people that are like, people aren't going to see it because she's black. I haven't seen it. I've well, seen is she though, because fairy godmother's not. <laughs> I've seen people get pissed. They're like, why are they? Why are they implying that these brand new characters or legacy characters and all these fairy tale worlds are connected? This makes no damn sense. Well, I think they're implying it's a, the implications that she's a fairy godmother's worse because it's implying that she doesn't like being the color of the race she is and she wants to be white. That and could didn't be the fact Godmother have blue eyes? Well, that's right. Back in the day, they didn't give you pupils. They didn't give you. They just gave you pupils. They didn't give you. I right, thought so. you were going to say back in the day, they didn't give, give them pubes. No, they didn't give them pupils. They gave them pupils. They just didn't give them irises. So we don't know what color they are. She had soulless black eyes. You had to look into her okay. soulless black so eyes. So I guess that doesn't matter so much, but I was definitely just, white woman. I was just thinking, like, is that going to be a musical number if they would do a sequel? Be like, I can't wait to be white. <laughs> it's like it's everybody's like, like I just can't wait to be white. Everybody, everybody, they pulled that one. Everybody's like, oh wait God. a minute, wait a minute. You didn't think this one through. No, you did not think this through. So anyway, 
Um, there we go, guys. So Wish just stinking it up on every level. And uh, this one probably will get dumped on the Disney Plus pretty soon. However, the, the Wish bubbles are very pretty. Yeah, they're cute. It's fine. I always think they're pretty. They're very pretty. But, you know. They're souls. Yeah, some, there has to be souls, souls of all the. They have to have souls somewhere in this movie because so far everything else is pretty lifeless, from my understanding. Orbs are all the uh, all the the deceased Disney no, franchises. The wishes. He's hoarding wishes. He's hoarding wishes. Every dead Disney franchise is all the all the dead Disney franchises going to the afterlife. <laughs> I wish I wish Disney was better. She's looking at the big one that's Wish. <laughs> so, oh shit! There I go. Oh, I, I figured that was Marvel right there. Oh, I, that could be. You got Marvel. You got Star Wars, Wars and you got Pixar. One of these is somewhere. Wish in the background. All right, we gotta wrap this up. For like, I beat that. Anyway, yes. <laughs> Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.